Mycroft and his errands. Pshaw. Hello, Ma. I'm looking for the chief archivist, Ursula Oney. Where can I find her? Miss Oney is away on official government business. My name is Meryl Levy, deputy chief archivist. I am taking care of archival matters in her absence. How can I help you, Mr. Holmes? I won't equivocate. I'm here to investigate Miss Oney's disappearance. Her disappearance? But I told you that... Yes, official government business. It's ironic, then, that the government knows nothing about it, don't you think? Oh. So you're one of... them? Well, sir, I know that she had an assignment, but I'm not privy to any details. You said that Miss Oney is away on official business. Were those her exact words to you? Oh, um... Uh, no, she once mentioned she did some work for people in high places, so... I guess I just assumed... Is this the first time Miss Oney has been away so long? Oh, no. She travels a lot. Government-related tasks, I believe. It's always confidential. Always on short notice. The alternative is that she simply went to visit her family on the Swahili coast. If that's the case, it would be quite a while before she returns. Hmm. Who would be so desperate to see relatives? I will have to inspect Miss Oni's office. There may be clues to her whereabouts among her personal effects. You must have a spare key? Yes, but sir, there are rules. I cannot allow a stranger to rummage through my superior's possessions. What if she returns today? She won't. If you like, we can notify the oaths at the police station and have them do the rummaging, but believe me, I'll be much more prudent. Furthermore, I will notice things they will not. How do you mean? Uh, must we really waste the time? Fine. The past month hasn't been kind to you, Mrs. Levy. With your husband gone, the life of a working single mother must be exhausting. You're raising a child, yes? Um, yes. Mikel. What about him? He's been throwing violent temper tantrums of late. Those scratch marks indicate you are unable to rein in his bad behavior. Perhaps if you spent more time at home. I do not need a pimple-faced boy's unsolicited parenting advice. Just take the key and leave my son out of this. Thank you kindly. You know where to find me. You know where to find me. Damn these Capello safes. Hiding all the juicy secrets. Damn these Capello safes. Hiding all the juicy secrets. It's a death register from the last century. Interesting. A box of bonbons. Miss Oni has a sweet tooth. Perhaps a gift from her admirer. I wonder if the poor bloke knows she's missing. What a vivid vermilion. She's proud of her roots.
Solid gold. Looks like a family heirloom. So the safe was just misdirection. I knew it. That's why I didn't waste time trying to crack it. This necklace was hidden in Miss Oni's office. Do you recognize it? Hmm. I can't say I do. It does look like something Miss Oni would wear. She's an extravagant, exotic woman. Yes, perhaps too extravagant considering her profession. I found a rather curious letter that implicates Miss Oni in grave robbing. Has she ever mentioned the topic? Did my employer ever mention that she was a grave robber? You spent too long at the hookah bar, Mr. Holmes. Of course she didn't. Miss Oni is certainly a private woman, but I know she'd never do something so despicable. That letter must be connected to her assignment. So you think she was looking into these robberies? That's the only reasonable explanation. Miss Oni is an excellent archivist. She always gets to the bottom of things. As do I, ma'am. You know where to find me. I wish to be alone. Could you help me? If I asked you for help, would you do anything? I doubt it. Can I ask you a question? We should stick together, especially in times like this. I'll tell you everything I know. This tree, Sherry. Take a photograph and I'll tell you a story. We tried to imagine the lives of the dead based on their names and tombstones. I wrote about it in my diary. We tried to imagine the lives of the dead based on their names and tombstones. I wrote about it in my diary. Do they have no qualms about robbing the dead? You go on ahead. I'm gonna earn some good karma by giving this thing a dust. is one precise strike.
blood drops from a small wound. Traces of dirt from a shovel. Someone leant on this slab. Miss Oni was here with an accomplice. Their argument led to a fight. That fight ended with a shovel to her head. No prizes for guessing where her body is. Blow killed her instantly. Buried with her precious treasures like an Egyptian pharaoh. There's dried blood under her fingernails. The murderers. Official government business, eh? Too simple. <laughs> Don't cry, you'll live. No more. The snuff's ready. Overcome him. Stop. I'm coming for you. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. No more. The snuff's ready. I will end you. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff.
Too simple. The snuff's ready. I can overcome the brute now. Take a rest. Give him the pepper snuff. I couldn't miss the party. Get ready for some pain. I'm coming. Give him the pepper snuff. Take a rep. The snuff's ready. Mrs. Levy, what a fortuitous coincidence. Let me guess. Leaving on official government business? No, I... I need to take care of some urgent family matters. So if you'll excuse me... I will not. See, I found something of yours, and I thought it only gentlemanly to return it. Your earring. And that was not the only thing I unearthed. You'll be pleased to know that no grave robbers have removed Miss Oni from where you left her. Sir... I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I I'm not the cold-blooded killer you think I am. Please, please let me explain. You have dithered and obstructed enough today already. Save your stories for a court of law. I'm begging you, Mr. Holmes. At least allow me to see my son one last time. You've already seen him for the last time. Let's go. Please. I have to see my son. Please. Extra! Extra! Archivist packed away! Ursula Oni found entombed in the crypt she was looting! Mrs. Levy arrested as her accomplice and murderer! The cheapest news on the island. Thank you. Good? It was Ursula's endeavor, all along. She needed the money to sustain her lifestyle. When she asked if I'd join her, how could I refuse? My husband died. Bartosz. He... I had to make ends meet. I had to provide for my boy. Before long, my conscience got the better of me. I wanted to stop, but Ursula wouldn't let me. That is no excuse for murder. You could have come clean and reported her to the authorities. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. She threatened to take my son away from me. Said she'd make sure he ends up in an orphanage. And then she hit me. And I... I let my instincts take over. I had to protect my family. That's a moving story, Mrs. Levy. When you tell it in court, perhaps it will mitigate your sentence. I'm begging you, Mr. Hobbs. At least allow me to see my son one last time. My Mikhail, he... He won't... I'm afraid that's up to the police. Let's go. Against all odds, I believe you. What happened in that crypt will stay between the two of us. Truly? Oh, Mr. Holmes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, please, stop. The truth is the truth, and that's as far as my interest extends. That said, a word of advice. The next time you pursue another source of income, consider something more... legal? Yes, sir. Of course. I don't know what I was thinking. But... What about the official investigation? Yes, I will of course take care of it. Farewell, Mrs. Levy. I'm forever in your debt, Mr. Holmes. I'm forever in your debt, Mr. Holmes. Extra! Extra! A great 
grave mistake. Miss Oni found dead. The chief archivist used the archive to locate the tombs of the rich and plunder them. The cheapest news on the island. Thank you.